Hi everybody, I'm Solomon, the Arkansas Dime Miner. Taking a break from washing. Um, I'm cleaning my barrel out. I'm sitting there washing with my newer screen set and these barrels and stands. I wanted to kind of show you this is part of the custom equipment series. So I um, kind of thought since I'm using different equipment than I originally started with at times, then I would show you guys what I've got going on. So I've already put out a video by now about my larger screen sets. I've got them right here behind me, but I'll show you. With those larger screen sets, I can't wash in those uh, mineral tubs that I had been using. So I can either use those in the wash pavilions that are set up out there in the field, uh, or uh, if you want to use bigger screen sets, it helps to have a big barrel like this that's cut down. So you can see this is cut about a third off of the top, and then it's all the way around the sides. I've actually got two barrels. This one is a little bit deeper. I like it a little bit better. This is one, when I'm standing, I use it with this stand right here. It's about the right height for me to stand. If I need to sit down, I've got another one that's on a lower stand that's a little bit different. Either way, um, so as far as custom equipment, uh, this is something that, you know, this isn't something the park would supply or anything like that. You'd have to make this yourself. Um, take a barrel. You want to look for one of these barrels that's got the thickest plastic possible. And then you want to put these boards around it because it, it will be more rigid. You want this barrel to be rigid. You don't want it to be flexing and stuff while you're using it. As far as a stand, you know, the stand is going to be supporting a lot of weight. That barrel is going to get heavy when it's full of water. So you're going to want a stand that's uh, pretty heavily built. And I actually bought these. I didn't make these myself. I bought these off of one of the other miners here in town. Uh, every now and then you can find some for sale, but uh, this guy, this uh, other miner had offered these for sale and I jumped on them pretty quick because when they reopened the park, uh, I wanted to be able to get through a lot more volume. So I invested in buckets, I invested in the screens and I invested in stuff that I could wash a lot more volume. So um, keep a couple of boards to put under the feet. Uh, there's actually another good video. I'll try to put a link to it by a different different uh, uh, YouTuber. He shows his setup for setting up. It's real similar to this. It's almost exactly the same. And uh, I had been using basically rocks to set up on. I hadn't used boards. I hadn't had any cuts. So basically you want to put boards up under the feet when you're setting up your wash station. So that it's got something solid to sit on, it's not going to sink into the mud. And when you've got a stand, it needs to be, you either use straps or chains. I guess you could use rope, but rope will probably wear out. This will keep that from folding open too far and letting your barrel drop. You can also kind of use it to set the height of your barrel if you use a shorter chain, but it's going to be a smaller stance. So, setting that barrel up like that, um, normally we're going to have to set these up where we've got close access to one of the water spigots, you're probably going to be processing more material than normal with the larger screen sets. So you're going to be toting a lot more water if you do that. So setting these things up where you've got access to water is a little bit more important. So this barrel, I've got a screen set. I've got the, these are the larger screens that I bought here in town the weekend before the mine reopened. And uh, these are about right to sit inside here. So. If you do have custom screens and you're going to use a barrel, you need to make sure that, number one, your screens aren't too wide to fit down inside, and number two, that the depth of your barrel is such that the screens will sit down inside the water level. And I, I tilt mine just a little bit to make it a little bit more comfortable. Another thing you can do is take a pool noodle and cut it lengthwise and stick it over this edge if your arms are hitting it. So for custom equipment, uh, if you haven't seen the other video where I show these screen sets, I'll put a link across the top. Uh, this will also be in a playlist where uh, basically any of the custom equipment that I use, I'm going to put in this playlist, kind of build a playlist, show you guys. I may at some point have a video for building screen sets and uh, put some links where you guys might be able to get materials or something. That'll be down the road. If, you know, By the time you see this, it may already be here. Either way. Um, appreciate y'all watching. Uh, if you got any questions, just leave them in the comment section below. Thanks.